para mí. Three. Three. Discharge. Over there. Jarvis? Yes, miss. William? Yes, miss. Marsden? Yes. Three pawn tickets. Right, one, six, seven, one, I remember this room when I arrived here. Just the way they took all my own things away. This is where we get them back again. We hope. Plenty of time yet. It'll be discharged at eight o'clock, not one moment before. Not one second after. Yes, miss. One dress, one undervest, one dress. I do three. wish you'd eaten something, Monica. It's so cold. One hand. Not even a cup of tea. I'd rather wait till I can get a real breakfast. One skirt, one blouse, one jacket. Oh, I feel like the dog's dinner, really, I do. Don't look too bad. You fond of dogs, dear? It's me we're talking about, not dogs. It's important how I look today. I'm going to get married. Married? You? Yes, me. And why not? He wrote and said he'd wait if it was six years instead of six months. And he has. Now, you've got to check these lists. You get back everything you had when you came in. You first, William. One hat, one coat, one dress, one undervest torn. One pair of shoes, one pair of stockings. Are you really one getting hand mad? Bag? Yes. One I hope you'll be bag. very happy. I'll tell you something else, too. No, no, he's meeting me outside. No, I bet he's waiting for me outside right now. One parcel. You've got a boy waiting for you. No. Sign here, please. And let this be the last time, Granny. We like you here, but not as a permanent boarder. I'll try. I always do try. Next, Jarvis. One skirt, one blouse, one jacket, one pair of shoes, one pair of stockings, one handbag. Here's a jewelry. One watch, one initial brooch, S, two bracelets, one necklace, two rings. Sign. If you do, if you don't, if you will or if you won't. Shut up, Jarvis. Your turn, Marsden. Marsden. I'll sign that receipt right away. You'll check the list first. It's laid down in the regulations. I'm saying goodbye to regulations. It's nice to feel smart again. It isn't until you see people in their own clothes you realize what you've been mixing with in this place. Can I help, Monica? Just a moment. We all came in here at different times. Why do we have to go out at the same time? Because all your sentences happen to end today. Lummy, I'd hardly have known you. Nice bit of stuff. Those real pearls? Yes. It's small, aren't they? Well, you can't blow up pearls like balloons. Well, that's what I mean. Well, they must have cost a packet of money, but nobody would hardly know he was wearing any. I'm sorry you don't approve. Well, I've got a thing about jewellery, especially earrings. What about our money from the Discharge Prisoners Aid Society? One thing at a time. Nothing for you, Marsden. No, thanks. Independent, eh? Do you object? Take anything that's going. That's my motto. Right. Lead on. Wait there. 
The day's discharges. I know, I know. No need to be so regimental about it. You've got the list? Three. Jarvis, Quilliam, Marsden. I hand them over to you officially. Anyone would think it was registered letters. I am looking forward to tonight, aren't you, Stella? What are you talking about? Well, you know as well as I do, going to the Monte Cristo. Some people don't get asked. Sorry, Stella. Would you like to come? Oh, I don't know. I can't promise. I've got to see what arrangements my fiancé has made. Quiet, you women. Easy, easy. They're only a bit excited. After all, I'm the first man they've seen since they went inside. London, the biggest city in the world, and it's all yours. who didn't really believe it. I think he's going to marry her. You know what she is. I know what she was. Bob, why have you got your uniform on? Oh, I've got to go on duty. No? When you had something to eat. All right, then. Come on. She's not going to introduce us. I know her salt. Ashamed of him because he's in the Salvation Army. <laughs> no, he's a bus conductor. Oh. I wish you had a nice young man to meet you. I don't know any nice young men. Shepherd's Bush. And when I do get there, there'll be somebody waiting for me. Somebody very special. Johnny, why don't you bring him along tonight? Do you mean it? Mm. Oh, it would be a treat for him. I've always wanted to see inside one of them posh places. Johnny and me.
close me. He's watching us. Nonsense. I tell you, he's watching us. He isn't even aware of us. I'm waiting. Molly, you have had experience. You'll run us in before we know where we are. Let's move down a bit. Sorry, I didn't... Uh, won't you take my seat? Thank you. Very kind of you, sir. It's a pleasure. Johnny tonight. Then we'll be there six o'clock on the dot. Be good. Be careful, dear. Hello. Oh, this rush is perfectly maddening. Do you always travel on this line at this hour of the morning? Terrible people one meets on the underground. Yes, terrible. Oh, I say, this isn't a habit of mine, you know. After all, we did speak of a train, a sort of introduction. You're a very attractive girl. I'd like to take you out to dinner, Sally. This evening. Dinner and a show, hmm? Get on, Archie. You know the Belvedere and Whiteman Street? Come right into the barn. You'll find me there. You may be there, I shall. Oh, yes, you will. It's a date, then. Six o'clock at the Belvedere. Oh, I almost forgot. The name's Jenkins. You could call me George. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? Stella. Stella? Ah, I ought to have guessed it. Suit you right down to the ground. Here. Well, let's have a look at you. Not as bad as I expected. Was it awful? Then let's talk about it. It's over. Finished. Done with. Can't believe it yet, but I'm free. I'm hungry, too. Mm, I saved you an egg and some bacon. Don't be too good to me. I'm not used to it. Afraid you'll have to get your own breakfast. I've got to fly. Anything you want me to get you? Shall we meet for lunch? No, thanks. I'm going out job hunting. Okay. Borrow anything of mine you need. By the way, are you all right for money? Stop mothering me. you make me cry in a minute. I can manage if you'll let me stay for a week or two. Of course. As long as you like. Any messages for me? No. Forget him, Monica. I don't want to interfere, you know that, but remember you're still young. There are plenty of decent men in the world. You never knew what really happened, did you? When I first met David, I thought he was perfectly honest. By the time I discovered he wasn't, I was too much in love with him. Begged him to go straight. One night, he persuaded me to go on a job with him. We were discovered. He ran away and left me. I was caught. 
What a fool I was. You warned me often enough. Well, nobody listens to anything when they're in love. Kettle's on. Everything is ready. I must go. See you tonight. Don't worry if I'm a bit late. I may be a bit late myself. You're not going to look for... That's all right. I'm having dinner with an old lady. Why not join us? Sorry, too much work to do. Well, have a good time. Oh, cigarettes on the table. All for you. about Trafalgar Square. Good old Nelson. But he can do the wash and brush up. Of course, it isn't Piccadilly. No. Come on. Sure you don't want anything else? No, thanks. Bob, when do we get married? Next Wednesday suit you? Any time you like. You see, next Wednesday I can get the day off. The question is, where are you going to stay till then? Oh, but I thought... Look, I want you to get a room on your own. Well, not up here, mind. You think I'm weak, don't you? No, Stella, I wouldn't say weak. Just a little wobbly at times. Not anymore. Not since I met you. I've never met a chap like you before. Makes a difference, you know. I'm going to be a real good wife to you, Bob. If anyone's lucky, it's me. I'll tell you where to get a nice room. Cheap and respectable, too. Canterbury. Canterbury? Don't tell me you never heard of Canterbury. I suppose I must have. Where is it? Well, it's not in the jungle. One of the most respectable parts of London. Get an underground or Essex Road or take a 38 bus. Oh, I know the 38 bus. It goes down Shaftesbury Avenue and along Piccadilly. Yes. Well, look, here's the address. 31 Alcyon Road. Of course, you have to put the money down. How much have you got? Oh, I'll be all right. How much have you got? About a quid. Bob. Three. Three quid. Well, you have to feed yourself till next week, as well as pay the rent. After that, you're my official responsibility. Bob, you are good. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Shall I come round to your digs this evening? Well, you better not. My landlady's pretty strict. Tell you what, see you when I come off duty. OK. What time? Half past seven, outside Swan and Edgar's. Here's the first of your wedding presents. Did you have a nice time on the Riviera? Lovely. Couldn't bear to tear myself away from all them dukes and millionaires. <laughs> I bet you look smashing in your bikini. Yes, all covered in goose pimples. <laughs> come on in. Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. When'd you get out? This morning. I'm on my way home now. How about a little bit of something to be going on with? What's the price of the rabbit? Two bob a pound. I, I'd be ashamed to sell it to you. Never you mind, Rabbit. What you need is feeding up. Have you seen Johnny lately? He's been about most days. Looks fine to me. Oh, I do hope he hasn't forgotten me. Not him. Now, how about a nice bit of stewing steak? Hey, ho. Eight ounces. Tenpence eightly to you, madam. And don't give it all to Johnny.
it's you. I did right. Please, can I have me old room back? Well, some people say I was a fool to have you back. I never took anything from here. Oh, no, I'll say that for you. But some people would say I was letting the neighbourhood down. Well, you better come on in. The humiliation. Seeing this address, my address, in the papers. It's not as though it was the first time. Fifteen previous convictions and all for shoplifting. And don't try and attempt to deny it because I read it myself in the paper with my own eyes. I oh, know. But it's so silly, too. It's not as though you ever take anything of value, like furs or jewellery. Oh, no. That'd be stealing. Well, I'm taking you back on one condition, see? That you keep out of trouble. Never again. Do you understand? This is a respectable house. I do want to thank you for looking after Johnny. I save up and pay you back. Well, we're all very fond of Johnny. I suppose he isn't about anywhere. Well, he's out, but he'll be back. You know what he is. <laughs> oh, here's your key. Your stove's ready to light. Johnny. Oh, good boy. Oh, thinking of food already. Oh, Johnny. See you tonight at half past seven, OK? Now, don't forget, All underground right. to Essex Road. Better get out here right away. OK. ta -da. That's not easy in a case like yours. It'd be much simpler to fix you up in domestic work, or in hospitals, or institutions. I'd sooner have office work. Shorthand and typing? Yes. Both still pretty good, I think. There are one or two vacancies. Of course, you've no stamps on your insurance card. That'll give you away, you know. Do you think I should tell them the truth? That's up to you. But sooner or later, they're sure to find out. I'll have to chance it. They'll ask questions, you know. Awkward questions. And you've no references? No. Why not? It's some time since I was employed. Indeed. May I see your insurance card? 
Painkillers. No stamps? No, it's been franked at the employment exchange. So I see. Why, have you been in hospital, Miss Marsden? No, in prison. In prison? May I ask the reason? I was convicted for burglary. You mean you stole? Yes. Well, you've been very frank with me, Miss Marsden. I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed our little chat. I don't think anyone could accuse me of not being a tolerant man. But unfortunately, I happen to be in business. However, if there is any other way in which I can help you, please give me a ring. Good morning. One for me and one for you. One for me and one for you. One for me and one for you. Now two for you, because you need it, don't you, Johnny? One for me and one for you and one over. Johnny, I'm ashamed of you. We can't have that shocking behaviour tonight. Come on. Yeah. Oh, Johnny. Manners. Johnny, I'm going to take you out. First, we're going to see Lily, my daughter Lily. And then tonight, I'm going to take you up to the West End. And there's going to be a party. Monica invited you special. You like Monica, Johnny? She's a nice, kind-hearted girl. You think I'm in? Yes. I said by the end of the Yes. Mr. Gregory will see you now. I don't care what they say. I must have them on time. Come in. 17 on Monday and the rest by the end of the week. Understand? Sit down, please. I'll stand, thank you. Yes, I've been in prison. I know. I, uh... It's very difficult. Yes? Yes, of course. What did you think I meant? I said, by the end of the week. Yes, very well. Yes, I know all about you, Miss Marsden. The welfare officer phoned me. I'm ready to take a chance. Can you start on Monday? Yes. Good. Miss Dawson, I'm sending a Miss Marsden in to see you. Fix her up to start on Monday. How did you know I'd be here? Just a guess, Monica. What do you want? To see you, of course. I don't want to see you, David. Can't we go inside? I have so much to talk about. You have, but I'm not interested. Understand, once and for all, I've finished with you. I know how you feel. You know how I feel. Take it easy. I've taken it hard for 12 months, thanks to you. Did you know the police asked me all sorts of questions? I don't need to open my mouth and you'd have got what I got. I know. You were wonderful. And you were a louse. Let's get out. We can't talk here. We're going inside. There's nothing to talk about. Don't be a stubborn idiot. There's plenty to talk about, and you know it. Come and have lunch with me. Very well. Wait for me here. Hello, Stella. Meg? Hello, Mari. I've just been to the pictures. You look wonderful, Shirin. Not so good as you. Coming to see the girls? It's the lunch hour. Oh, no, I can't. I've got to go out to Canterbury. Canterbury? I know what you need, a drink. 
No, I can't. <laughs> That's what I call a bargain. Six guineas, straight from New York. They're worth it, too. Here you are, Stella. Sorry. Cheers. Talking of value for money, I reckon I did pretty well with these. Mm. Mm. No offence, dear, but uh, isn't this a bit uh, out of season? Give her a chance, can't you? She only got out this morning. Have a cigarette, Stella. Oh, cheer up, Stella. You see me in the money again. And they don't go ask me to give you an intro to the guy who gave me this. What makes you think I want an intro to anyone? I am getting married next week. You married? don't make me laugh. I am. You won't be seeing me around anymore, ladies. Who is he? No one you know. Come off it, Stella. You know as well as I do. Girl meets all sorts of fellas. They kid you. Not this one. He's on the level. He's a man, isn't he? Nothing you can teach me about men. They're all the same. Not Bob. What's he in? Oil or gold mines? Transport. We're going to live in Canonbury. Well, if he's going to marry you, Cherie, that is different. You bet it is. I'm going to have a home, see? It's wonderful being with you again, darling. Just looking at you. Still the same, David. What do you mean? You still think you can twist me around your little finger, don't you? It came to an end 12 months ago. Did it? Yes. Not with me. <laughs> Charming and smooth as ever. A terrible thing to say. I've learnt a lot worse in the last 12 months. By the way, what about those clothes of yours? Do you think I'd pawn them? Or give them away to some other girl? There is no other girl, Monica. I'm not staying. Where are my things? In the wardrobe, in there. I'll get them. Remember the first time you wore that dress? Please don't give me any of that old Lang Syne stuff. The past, as far as you're concerned, is dead and buried. How do you like selling cars? That's a job. Is it difficult to get? Not very. Well, of course, you haven't been in prison. Why are you so bitter? Do you really want me to tell you? I've been locked up for 12 months. You were free. It wasn't the judge or the jury who did that to me, it was you. You didn't care what happened to me as long as you saved your own skin. That's not fair and it's not true. Of course I care. How much? Not even enough to stand by me. Supposing I had stood by you. Supposing the police had got me too. Would you have been any better off? I'm a jailbird. Got a record, thanks to you. Now I've got to live that down and start again. Before I met you, I never did anything against the law. So I'm a corrupter of innocence. I had no idea what you were when I let myself get fond of you. Now I look at you and I wonder why. There must have been a reason. I was, my own stupidity. I believed in you. Believed in the look in your eyes when you were being nice. I believed it meant that you really loved me. That's what it did mean? No, it was just a give-me look, like a greedy little boy saying, give me what I want and give it quick. We had some good times together. You did. And you? Don't tell me you didn't get any pleasure out of it. You didn't complain at the time. Always the perfect gentleman. I'm sorry, Monica. Don't let's quarrel. 
Call me a coward if you like, but I did love you. And I do. Not enough to visit me in prison. For a whole year, not a word. Not a letter, nothing. Just because I did love you. Because I wanted us to have a fresh start when you came out. That's why I got a job. That's why I didn't come and see you all right. I knew if I did, the police might get a line on me too, and if they did, there wouldn't be a chance for either of us. Well, of course, you hate me. Six a bunch. Cruel the prices nowadays. I'm afraid we're nothing cheaper. I remember when they wouldn't have had the nerve to ask more than tuppence for a bunch like that. The good old days. Yes, and they was good old days too. Looks a bit measly. Here, you wouldn't let me have two for two and six. Only fixed prices here, madam. since you came to see us, Granny. Yes, I suppose it is. Have you been to the seaside all this time? Yes. Yes, what is it? Hello, Lily. Oh, you didn't tell me you were coming. Well, I only come out this Shh. morning. You ought to have written first. I know, I'm sorry. I brought these for you. Oh, thanks. Pity you had your journey for nothing. We're just going out, as you can see. Can't put it off. It's a tea party. Very important. Oh, Mum, can't Granny come to the pictures with us? No, dear. You see, I've got Johnny with me. Norma, that dog's feet are all covered in mud. Brush your coat down. Don't let him come near you again. Oh, Granny, it's the nameplate off Johnny's collar. It's come off. Oh, never mind, dear. I'll let you know when it's convenient for you to call. Or better still, you back at the same place? Yes. All right, I'll look you up there. Send you a postcard to tell you when. Goodbye for now. Come on, Norma. Oh, Mum, I want to say goodbye to Granny. Come on, we're late. <laughs> goodbye, dear. friends with in prison. I'd forget all about prison if I were you. Oh, it's easy to say. I know. But take my advice. Forget the past. We're together again now. 
the bad times are over. For a whole year, day and night, all I could think of was warmth, and food, and love. Did you ever doubt that I loved you? Now we're together again for good. No, David. I love you, but it won't work. I've had a year of nights to think it out. I've got to be on my own. You're not serious, darling. I know how you must have felt. But you're back now. You're a different woman. You're getting the colour back in your cheeks. If you like, we'll leave London for a bit. No, David, you go where you want, but leave me out of it. Darling, I love you. Do you? Five o'clock. I must go. Where? I've got a date. With? The old girl. I'm meeting her at the Monte Cristo at six. Cancel it. Oh, I can't. I promised her. And she's so looking forward to it. I thought this was going to be our night. I've got a couple of seats for the theatre. Only circle. That's all I could get. My party won't take long. Give me my ticket and I'll meet you there. If I take her to the theater, I take you. Understand? I'll pick up at 20 past seven. Hello, Maury. How do you like my new earrings? Did your boyfriend give them to you? Yes. What's the matter, Shirley? Is something wrong? I've just done something awful. I thought you were a reformed character. Lend us three quid, Maury. No, Stella. I work for my old age. And you? You get out of Canterbury before it is too late. Yet she won't be late. This is John. She is standing treat, isn't she? She invited us. I'm sure she won't expect you to pay. Why? Well, I'm a bit short of cash at the moment. I suppose you come, Monica. Hope I haven't kept you waiting. Oh, you do look nice. I'm glad you could come. Managed to make it after all. Didn't want to disappoint you. You didn't say we were dressing. I'm sorry. I didn't know I'd be going on to the theatre. You won't be cold, dear, will you? No. Johnny. I've heard a lot about you. <laughs> oh, you're lovely. I thought you two take a shine to each other. Mm. <laughs> I hate to interrupt a love scene, but I'm hungry. Well, let's go in then, shall we? May I? Yes, you'll be all right with you. Come on, Johnny. Is it all right? Hmm? Is everything all right? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's the one word for it, gorgeous. I meant the chicken. Do we? Do I still get cold? It looks lovely. Such a lot to... Shall I bring the wine now, madam? Thank you. Oh, Monica, you shouldn't cost you ever so much. What does it matter for once? What lovely earrings, Stella. Blue arts. Yes, they're, they're real sapphires. Quite a novelty. Unique, in fact. Did you fix yourself up, dear? Everything's wonderful. I have a roof over my head and I start work on Monday. There. Oh, I am glad. Oh, Johnny. Manners. I think you'd like some veal. No, he's not hungry. He might like a drink, though. Would he be right 
to use the crockery, though I dare say Johnny's cleaner than some. Champagne, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, bubbly! Champagne, is it? Is it really? It's all right, Johnny. Quiet, boy. Here's to the old school. I'm going to drink your health, Monica. And I want to thank you for giving us this lovely evening. I shall never forget it, never. Ever since I've known you, you've been a good friend to me. And that's something a lot of people don't bother about with old folks like me. Thank you, dear. And now I want to wish you every happiness, now and always. And I hope you find somebody to look after you, because you deserve it. Taxi waiting. Sorry to break out the party, ladies. Goodbye. Bye, Stella. Bye. What a nice young man. Hmm. Wait. A souvenir? Yes, I am. Aren't I? There. Now, what do you mean by bawling my name out right in the middle of the street? I made a date with her at the Belvedere. She didn't turn up. I waited an hour, had a few drinks, and then what do I see but Stella? Who's sexy? I tell you, I'm Stella. Well, if you are, why didn't you show up at the Belvedere? Hmm? Come along and I'll tell you. Well, I never. This is no place for us, Johnny. Ginger ale in a separate glass, if you don't mind. Go on, go on then. Good boy, Johnny. There. Run along then. Do me a favour. Drink that chin up. I hadn't the face to march in and ask for ginger ale and nothing else. There's plenty as wood. Not me. I've been to a party. Champagne. Champagne's very nice, but it leaves you as thirsty as ever. That's why I only want this now. I can see you've been celebrating. You're all kid. Oh, is that what it is? Johnny. I've got an old kid. Popular, ain't he? Always was. Wait a mile, Bessie. Excuse me.
Johnny? The dog's just gone out, Mrs. Yes, just as I was coming in. But he doesn't know his way around here. He'll be lost. He's got no name on his collar. Johnny! Johnny! into making love to me this afternoon. No one can say it was slow making up for lost time. Please, David. Let me go. I've got a chance now. I've got a job. I've got something to look forward to. Don't be silly. Please. You have to put this on. You can be seen from the street. You would dress, wouldn't you? See that window? It's over the restaurant. There's money there, lots of it. Enough to clear out of the country and make a fresh start. The two of us. That's what you want, isn't it? No. I love you, Monica, and I need you. And you need me, too. I hate you. As soon as I'm on that catwalk, pull this ladder up. I don't want it hanging there while I'm working on the safe. As soon as you see me coming back again, let it down. Jessica. 
Have you seen a little dog anywhere? That was full of dogs, ma. Most of them bitches. No, ma. Sorry. I ain't seen your dog. Have another one. No, 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 no. Oh, go on, just one more. Fred! shouldn't have had that last drink. I'll be all right when I've had a little sleep. Come on. There's one thing I don't like about you, Stella. Oh? What's that? Those earrings. The Stella I met this morning wasn't wearing terrible things like that. Get yourself another pair. What's the price? A pair of earrings. Decent. Earrings, hmm? Three quid? Yeah. What you call a little present? Fixed a room? No. I haven't been down to Canterbury yet. You've been up here all day? Yes. Oh, Bob, it's all right. I haven't done anything wrong. Look, I still got that money you gave me. Bob, let's go out to Canterbury now. You're really sure you want to come, Stella? Yes, I do. Honest, I do. privilege to answer. Have you seen a little dog anywhere? I've lost him. I don't think so, madam. What's he like? He's black and white, not very big. I've lost him and I've searched everywhere for him. He'll be so tired and so frightened. It's all my fault. He's such a beautiful little dog. He's 
names. Johnny. Johnny! waiting for you. Marston. Marston. And now I want to wish you every happiness, Monica, and I hope you find someone to look after you. Did you have a doubt that I loved you?
right down here, Captain.
saved us. coming to him all right serves him right too how do you know have you never done anything wrong must have been killed outright. She just started talking about her dog, said he was lost. Suddenly she calls out Johnny and darts across the road. Couldn't stop her. 